In the Indian way of life, widowhood once meant a terrible calamity. The widow remained strictly confined to the dark precincts of her home. Social conditions offered only a sad, hopeless life for women. In those days, girls were usually married off early, still too innocent. And if the child became a widow, she would thus be made ugly looking. And then, a dull, bleak future awaited her for the rest of her life. The plight of these hapless child widows made Thondo Keshav Karve, later to be known as Anna, sad and depressed. Following the death of his first wife, Anna remarried a widow, a sister of a close friend, in 1893. Anandi gently stepped into his life, least suspecting the stiff opposition her husband would face from tradition-bound society. So severe was the social boycott that in fear of being ostracized, even his mother had to come like a thief to see her son. Anna's thinking was truly ahead of his times. Braving the anti-society stigma, Anna pursued his objective. In 1896, at Hingne, six kilometers away from Pune city, Anna established a home for the rehabilitation of child widows. Firmly convinced that without education and high moral values, his idea of a higher age for the marriage of girls and the right to remarry would not be accepted by society, he focused his attention on educating women. In this great task, his wife, Anandibai's contribution remains equally valuable. At a time when the very idea of women's education was considered condemnable, Anna established a women's university in 1916. Today recognized as Srimati Nathibai Damodar Thakarsi University the SNDT. The seed for women's education was sown and the sapling began to grow. Today, a total of 11,000 girl students receive education at the Pune, Ratnagiri, Satara and Wai branches. Out of these, an imposing 3,500 girls can be seen busy at Pune's Hingane Center, pursuing their studies in various disciplines. With a view to ensure all-round education, the carefully designed syllabi include human anatomy, health education, child psychology, population studies, environmental awareness, and also lessons in the various forms of arts and crafts. Recipe making, not restricted to mere textbook knowledge, the training in cookery is through demonstration and practical tips. Tailoring makes way for hidden creative talents and leads to the joy of creation itself. Drawing and painting lead to expressing the self as well as cultivating one's sense of beauty. The artist cannot negate the reality around. The Institute too does not disown reality. It is committed to help those that fall victim to the evil forces in society. Child widowhood does not remain any more as severe a problem as in the days gone by. But with the changing times, the nature of the problems too have undergone a change.
बाहर कड़ी कड़ी लावी होती द सैड स्टोरीज कम फोर्थ फ्रॉम एवरी माउथ नवरेन माझी अशी अवस्था करून ठेवली की मला पुरुष माणसावर माझा विश्वास सोडलाय the steadily prospering industrial scene on one side and the rapidly crumbling moral standards on the other throw up new social problems girls born in economically distressed families need a helping hand an emotionally cornered little girl she wants to know why have i not seen my father and why does my mother not come to see me Luckily these helpless girls do get love and affection from foster parents Amala sa atla ki ashi ek mulgi ki jila bhavanik aadhar dyava he kaam apan jar kela ta aayushya samadhan jasta labhel ani ha anand satisfaction of the life at the end of life mail ashi amala aasha hai mi paachi paryant tai vadlan jar rahat hote eka ek vadil gele my father passed away and then my mother i had no one to look to for support but the institute filled that gap for me the important link between home and the school is the balwadi for the children in the neighborhood the balwadi has begun to serve as an educational center the feeling that they too can attend to adult tasks gives the children self confidence and scope for building work habits sir sasoon a hostel for the young these little girls are sent through the local juvenile court many among them are found to be mentally disturbed due to problems in their families karan majhe papa dari pitat va amcha amchi paristhiti garib hai दारू च व्यसन होते I took shelter to escape the evil influences of my alcoholic father. My mother was burnt alive. The police took away my father. My parents wanted me to grow up in good surroundings. The daily prayer not to seek mercy but to make oneself strong and self confident a woman should not only be well protected but also self protected the lessons in karate are sure to create a woman that is bold tough and one who can face up to any challenge a capable mind is the prerequisite for a strong and healthy body The total number of the inmates at the institute hostel stands today at 1200. Working in groups with one mind automatically becomes the natural attitude. Me MPS म्हणजे महाराष्ट्र पोलीस आयुक्त सेवा मध्ये जाणार तर त्या ठिकाणी अनुभव या दृष्टीने विचारतात तुम्ही वेगळ्या तऱ्हेने काय पाहिलं तर हॉस्टेल मध्ये राहिले The institute mirrors the society around. त्यांची परिस्थिती काय काय प्रॉब्लेम त्या घेऊन आलेले असतात किंवा कशा सोडवतात या दृष्टीने इथे आले ऑन द कॅम्पस ट्रेनिंग इन एनसीसी आरएसपी अँड द गर्ल गाईड्स प्रोग्राम इनकल्केट्स द व्हॅल्यूज ऑफ डिसिप्लिन गुड सिटिझनशिप अँड लीडरशिप क्वालिटीज 
Anna, the founding crusader, recognized the need to create a dedicated and selfless force of men and women who would carry forward his ideals. He did find committed life members who continued the rich legacy. A strong contingent of men and women work today with a missionary zeal. Collecting arms, not for oneself, but for the needy, is a respectful act. This thought prompted the launching of the Bao Beach Fund in 1919. Unless thousands of hands join together, it is indeed difficult to accomplish social change. Schoolgirls donate a handful of grain every year. Preserved within this proud little hand is a deep sense of commitment towards society. Divorcees, destitutes and victims of dowry are given shelter and trained at the Sampada Bakery. Sampada Bakery has a business turnover of 50 lakh rupees per year. The girls thus manage to complete their education under a unique scheme called Earn and Learn. Started in 1950, the Udhya Mandal undertakes file manufacturing and bookbinding jobs. With a view to providing actual hands-on experience to the girls, they are trained in electronic assembling in the electronic job work unit started by the Institute. Job work procured from local industries are executed here. Women workers compete with professionals and maintain the highest standards. The Institute has started vocational training in a variety of areas. The idea is to help women trainees master the necessary technical skills through short courses and then move on to become self-dependent. This is one such household electrical appliances repair unit. About 100 years ago, Anna recognized the need of the times and undertook the task of educating women in a small hut. Today, all poised to moving into the 21st century, the Institute has taken a pioneering step forward in setting up the first ever Cummins College of Engineering for women in the country. Meritorious but economically deprived candidates too are given admission without charging the capitation fees. In devising the academic curricula, attention is given to accommodating the capabilities and natural potential of women. Areas where women can use their imagination and excel, such as electronics and telecommunications, instrumentation, computer engineering form part of the curricula. The Institute has also acquired the distinction of starting the first ever college of architecture for women in the country. The stress is on giving hands-on experience to the students. Amidst this educational climate has come to rest at Hingne, a home for the aged, the Vridhashram. The home for the aged and the Pati Patni Ashram remain unique to the Hingne campus. Mutually supporting one another and exchanging personal stories, these lives endeavor to make the twilight hours of their long innings happy and bearable. For everyone, this place is a home away from home. This poem is written by William Wordsworth. He was very fond of nature. So this poem, To the Cuckoo, is really a splendid manifestation of Wordsworth's contemplation of nature. Nyan thala var nyani purush apla deva praram dacha swadhin karto sara aunsh yala atmenan mantat. 
आत्मज्ञानाने समाधान मिळते जीव परब्रह्मामध्ये विलीन होऊन एकरूप होतो The reputation of Anna, who devoted every moment of his life with selfless zeal to the cause, continues to inspire the Institute. A revolutionary, Bharat Ratna Maharishi Dhondo Keshav Karve, as a living symbol of his sacrifice, stands this wizened banyan tree. Proud witness to the deeds of a true Maharishi, a genuine Karma Yogi.